hands and worship God.
Lift up your voice and to ask for the Spirit of God. Ask Him for His Spirit. Let the Spirit of God lead you. Let the Spirit of God lead you. Come on, God's holy people, lift up your voices to Him right now. We ask for your spirit, God. We ask for your spirit to lead us. We ask for your spirit to guide us. The very spirit of God promised in John chapter 16. Lord, release that spirit upon us to lead us through every trial and test. To lead us through the toys of life. Lord, we ask for your spirit this afternoon. Come on, pray to God for the spirit. Ask for the spirit to lead you. We ask for your spirit. We ask for your spirit. We ask for your spirit. We ask for your spirit to help us overcome. To help us well to overcome every challenge. To help us get victory. We ask for the spirit. We ask for the spirit. The Bible tells us as he left, he promised the disciples that tarry and wait for me. I am I will send you the spirit, the helper, the comforter, the one that will guide you, the one that will lead you. And in Acts chapter 2, we are in Acts chapter 2. In Acts chapter 2, we see this spirit as they waited in Jerusalem in the upper room. The Bible tells us the spirit of God was poured up. He spoke in the prophets that in the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. The young men shall dream dreams. The old shall prophesy. There will be a move of the Spirit like never seen before. This is your time. This is your hour. Ask for the Spirit. Ask for the Spirit. Let the Spirit of God lead you. Today. Today. There will be an outpouring. There will be an outpouring of the Spirit. Spirit of God. There will be a release in your spirit. There will be an uplifting in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, the presence of God is already here. The glory of God shall shine today. The power of God shall be seen today. In the name of Jesus, ask for an outpouring. Say, Lord, fill my cup. Let it overflow. Fill my cup. Fill my cup. 
We ask for the Spirit to guide us. The church of God without His Spirit is not a church. He's not a church. He's not a church. But right now, right now, an outpouring happens in the name of Jesus. I say it in the name of Jesus. Cry out to God. So Lord, fill me. Lord, fill me. Lord, release your anointing over my life. Release your presence over my life. Today is your day. I say today is your day. Today is your day. Lika broshi takaya. Randi brasu takaya. Elika pasa takaya. Those that are watching online, you're listening as for Impact FM. Today is your day. An outpouring of the Spirit. When the Spirit of God was poured out, the ministry of the apostles was given something tangible that could be seen that was something different over them. It is not by power. It is not by might. But by the spirit of the sovereign Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord pour out of your spirit Release your spirit over us In the mighty name of Jesus The son of the living God Release your spirit To the miracle workers Release your spirit Upon your church The gates of hell Shall not prevail Where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty so Lord release your spirit release your spirit those that are here in the church right now get up to your feet get up to your feet right now we are going to pray a prayer this is our time the spirit of God really tells me right now they are ministers he wants to release a spirit upon you hey, 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 hey. my God come on get up to your feet right now you did not come here to sit and enjoy the chairs in the name of Jesus pray Pray. Start to talk to God. Start to talk to God. Start to go to God. Talk to God. Say, Lord, fill me. Lord, empower me. Some of you, He's already spoken to you. He's already told you what He wants you to do. You will not achieve it without His Spirit. Pray to the Lord of the harvest. And He will give you what you need. The Lord, the Lord, today is my day. Pour out your spirit upon me. Release your spirit upon me. The spirit of the Lord. This is what Jesus said. That today it is fulfilled before you. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. And he has anointed me to preach the good news of the gospel to declare the acceptable year of the Lord to declare the captives free so today every captive every person held every person challenged everything that has everything that has everything that they put in today by the grace of the Lord by the power of God I declare to you it is living now 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 the the Lord. Lord. There is a power to that has been released. And if they put you in the captivity, today there is a no They sent to you demons. And those demons, they you want to get And whatever they they put put you, you put in you. And now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every bad omen, every bad omen, 
Every work of evil in the name of Jesus. I release fire. 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 I they made you in the name of Jesus. They spoke your name. I hear where they spoke the They spoke They spoke They spoke They spoke They spoke They spoke that was put on your life. I take authority. I declare freedom. I declare freedom. I declare freedom. Freedom is coming. Freedom is coming. I said freedom is coming. Freedom is coming. Freedom is coming. Freedom is coming. In this afternoon hour, as we are praying, there is a minister here. You could have been but the thing on you is for the family. You would have been so far. But see now, that thing, that thing, you feel you need to to feel you need to feel you need to feel you need but you are faithful to prevail. But there is my a God, my God. Amani ka katona kama zo kusumuru. Uli mutu ye na ye na. Katona kwe ya ita mbuwele za. Katona kwe ya ita mbuwele za. And God called you to but do it. But na bi wano. Every prophet. Aba tume mwena bari wano. Every apostle here. Aba budi zi benjili mwena bari wano. Wali wa chisechi wa zo kusumuru. There is a grace on you now. Chika kuma somesa. There is a grace on teachers coming. Chika kuma somesa. There is a grace coming to the teachers. Chika kuma budi zi benjili. There is a grace coming to the pastors. Raise your hands in the air. The power of God. Let's raise the sweet Jesus. The captive. Release your spirit. Release your spirit. Release your spirit. That place where they put that prophet. My God. Yes, Lord. My God. My God. There is a prophet among us. Elita Prusa Tikaya Katusa Limaha. Lord, set them free. Set them free, Lord. Put up your hands, Burley. Focus on God. This is not about me. Focus on God. There is a prophet among us. But they are bound in chains. It is like the days of John the Baptist. In jail, but this is a man supposed to be serving in greatness. Ali. Ali. Jesus. Touch them. Set them free. Touch them. Set them free. Touch them. Take them out of bondage. Take them out of bondage. Even if you're watching online, even if you're just listening on radio, the power of God sets you free. Sets you free. Sets you free. Sets you free. Every smash. Everything that has made you fail. 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 To the word of God. That thing. Oh, we we no come again. I kusiba. You decide to fast and the first no, day You fail In the name of Jesus The son of the living God Let the fire be released Let the fire come upon you Let your heart With this power Let the power be released Let the power be released That he may cleanse you Let the power be released there is a great separation. It is a child of a way. Separate the God of the 
can do his that you can do his that work. thing that has that been in the thing that has been said the person who has been here the telling them that you're not going you to you cannot this. be Today, 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 you are released. You are released. You are released. I said you are released. You are released. In the name of Jesus, release fire. We release fire. We release a fresh anointing. Italima, he calusatica, a fresh anointing, a mafuta mapia to take you to a new level to confirm the calling over your life a fresh anointing to reveal deep secrets. Lord, release it in the name of Jesus. The son of the living God. Today, you start afresh. You are restored. You are restored today. Everything that came against you, everything that attacks your marriage, everything that attacks your business, everything that came and challenged your authority. Today, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, yes, be today. In the name of Jesus, I render it powerless. I destroy it. I speak against it. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I speak your deliverance. I speak your deliverance. Take it. I speak your deliverance. I speak your deliverance. Deliverance comes to you right now. Deliverance comes to you right now. I see a thunder of fire. It drops a zone a heart. It is consuming every form of witchcraft. Every form of evil doing. In the name of Jesus. Father set them free. Release his men and women. Release his men and women. Let the enemy know that there is a new breed coming out. There is a new breed coming out. Haika. 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 Do sembra Ah, let God set you free today. Let God set you free today. Let God set you free today. Release them, Lord. Release them, Lord. Release them, Lord. Release, them, Lord. Release your church. You said that you will build your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. So how can the enemy come against us and put a believer down? Today I say no. 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 I speak restoration. I speak restoration. Now the anointing comes on you right now. The anointing comes on you right now. It is an anointing for restoration. There is a woman here that is going to rise up again. The anointing is released over you right now. An anointing to wipe your tears away. An anointing to take every sickness away. An anointing to take every sorrow away. In the name of Jesus, the Lord restore me. Lord, build me afresh. Halisa Blukaria. We thank you, Lord. Hikadu Sataya. 
they will see you and realize that something happened to you. When God touches you, they will realize you're not the person they have always known. They will realize that something about you has changed. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. And all the joy that floods my soul. Something happens. Something, Something happens. And now I know he touched me and made me more. Let God touch you today and cause you to have a difference. Let God touch you today and cause you to be different. Let God touch you today and give you a testimony not anybody has ever thought about. Let God touch you today and let the people in your local area realize that this is now the born of God the chosen of God the blessed one of God in Jesus name hallelujah I said hallelujah oh come on people come on people speak like I knew you say hallelujah hallelujah amen hallelujah you may be briefly seated in the presence of God I welcome you those that are watching us online. Can you clap for everybody that is not in this church here physically? We love you so much. We have a lot of our friends and family watching uh, all over the nation. We are watching via Dream Television Listening in on Impact FM There are those right now that have invested money And made sure they have internet on their phones To make sure they watch us online Hallelujah I declare that your restoration starts this very week How? They are going to see you when your life has changed Whoever had written you off Had thought that that is the end of you But they are going to be surprised When God causes you to have a bounce back When people thought you were out of the market They are going to be surprised That Nancha who they thought Can no longer be a businesswoman She now has three stores in Chibuga When they realize That the other woman the one whose husband left her and even married another woman but now God has given her a marriage restoration they are happily walking with her husband they will realize that God has visited you let me say one more time when the very people that told you that let it go it is impossible be very good it is impossible it is impossible go and sit there and we feel sorry for you because yours are because failed. of the grace of God this week I said this week Resurrection happens for a purpose I said restoration is coming to you If you don't want it, don't worry But as long as you want it I want you to stand up on your feet And say I am being restored In Jesus name I said in Jesus name Turn to somebody and say this to them. Tell them I am being restored. Say I am being restored. Everything I lost is coming back. Everything that left 
is coming back in Jesus name give God a big shout of praise hallelujah hallelujah oh. my God you may be seated wow 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 I want us to share scripture very well. God is going to restore you. Hallelujah. Amen. To a glory everybody thought you had lost. God is not going to take you to another planet. No, 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 no. Right here is where he's going to bless you from. Some of you took on this notion of saying, I, I, I will suffer on earth and enjoy heaven. My friend, Jesus suffered for us to enjoy. There is no reason why you should be there suffering. You are going to enjoy while you are here. I want to say it one more time so that whoever it belongs to can hear it. You will not suffer on earth. God is going to restore you. Bring back the joy that you lost. Bring back the happiness that you lost. Bring back the excitement that you lost. While you are here, it will be joy on earth. And joy in heaven. Ah, the Bible says that let the things of the world let and of the earth teach you the things in heaven. What does that mean? We are going to enjoy while we are on earth. And for that reason, even when we go to heaven, we are going to enjoy. Hallelujah. Not suffering on earth with expectation to enjoy in heaven. Let me tell you something. I don't know what you call enjoyment on earth. But if for you enjoyment is driving a car, if enjoyment is building a house, if for you enjoyment is being healthy, if for you enjoyment is marriage, if for you enjoyment is having children, if for you enjoyment is business success, then let God give you that enjoyment. I want to say it. Let God give it to you. So that when you go to heaven, you will also be enjoying. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Pastor Gerard has even given me a scripture. Let us go to Jeremiah. Quickly, Jeremiah chapter 30. Before I even read these ones, restoration is coming. Jeremiah chapter 30. Uh -huh. Are you there? Yeah. Uh -huh. Verse 18. Jeremiah, mm -hmm. yes, that says the Lord, uh huh, uh huh, hey, please, Yakobo Maninu, Kaduacho Mutukuba, Dekawa Manyaga, for what we need you take out Yang. What do you get a Mukamanti? Uh huh. Lava and did you sign a tobu Sibeba when my Olivia? Uh huh. A land is a city and you buzz. Uh huh. Nature Huga, Chidis in Bibua, uh huh. Chidis in Buacuchi Fumfu, Chacho, uh huh. No Luvidi, Luli Sigalao, Nga and Geria Lobuedi. And the palace shall remain according to its own plan. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. This scripture means that listen, I will bring back every form of captivity from Joshua's tent. Mm. Mm. 
if I suffered, if I had good things, if I had things and they left, he says, I'm going to bring you out of that captivity. I'm going to bring you out of that suffering. They don't tell you that you are in captivity. The moment they tell you that you are, you are, you are being captive, they show you before in a good life. Yes, sir. The moment they say that that woman it means she was well. She was well. If they tell you that you are sick now, it means you have been healthy Let me tell you two people of God. This week, God has released a new grace. That is going to capture a world That they are changing your name. That they said you became a That that you are sick that you are poor that you are a widow that you are empty the grace will be the grace of God is rewinding it is rewinding Zetekaya aha Pastor Joshua yes sir aha read it in the NIV let us read it in the NIV aha this is what the Lord says. Uh -huh. I will restore the fortunes of Jacob's tents and have compassion on his dwellings. The city will be rebuilt on her ruins. And the palace will ah. stand in its proper place. Why are you Let me tell you this. That man that says to you at your house When he calls you and he tells you that Come back My wife come back no, in your that house And you ask what about the other and woman And he says don't talk about her I know that the Lord has restored Somebody shout hallelujah Your restoration is coming now Everything that you had lost is coming, you had lost is coming. I mean I mean what I'm saying if you lost wealth if you lost children even if it is a child God it takes God nine months to create another child to replace the other one who died ah, we are feeling sorry for you you have children you cried so much but let God give you another baby and he brings you back in the Somebody back shout hallelujah. Whoa. You will be built in its ruins. What you were worried to go out and get food, the food day. It's a chief for more worrying, get it to be in every food day. That, that, that place where you thought to be with you. Hallelujah. Mumpo is a chamber gamba. You get what I'm saying? This woman, let's run very quickly. Uh, second Kings. Pastor Gerard, you Second Kings. To some of us, John Elisha. Let us talk about this man called Elisha. This woman. Now let me just briefly take you back. Elisha is a servant that comes in after. Elijah. It was upon him to do great things just like his forefather did. Hallelujah. And Elisha, according to record, he performed really well. But I want to introduce you to something very interesting here. Let's read chapter 4. I want to, to, to show you something very interesting here. 
We are told of a story of a Shunammite woman. It is a long story. I don't want to read it. But let me paraphrase. Hallelujah. Amen. Stay with me. Let me make this very short. This woman every day saw Elisha go about preach the gospel, do his miracles. Every day he passed by and came and fed. Every time he came and passed by. And one day, after all that ministry, chapter 4, he said, she suggested to her husband, Why don't we build a house for him? A, a, a little cave. Let us break. And then we can make somewhere for him that whenever the prophet turns, passes by, he can stop, maybe even sleep, rest well. And Elisha noticed it. And you know what? One day while the prophet is in that little cave they had built for him, I'm, I'm making the story very short. Because I want to speak up about this for the next two days. We are here tomorrow. We are here even on Friday. Hallelujah. And every day, those that are going to be here in church, we, we will lay hands on you such that your life will be restored. Hallelujah. You have to return back to your glory. Now listen. She, one day while the prophet is there, she's given him what to drink and what to eat the prophet got concerned and says every day I come here to eat every single time this woman looks after us offers us food and, and he, told, he tells Gehaz bring that woman hallelujah what does she want? And the woman turned up in front of the prophet. And didn't know what to say. Didn't know what she wanted. Yet, let me tell you something. Things that happen when God is about to make miracles are interesting. I want you to imagine what could have happened. Gekas, the, the, Gehaz, the, 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 the servant of the prophet, knew something about this woman. Hallelujah. That she didn't have any children. Huh? Yeah. So she, he, yeah. when, when Eli, Elisha asks the woman, what can I do for you? Or what can I do for you? Elisha replied to her. How can I help you? Tell me. What do you have in your house? Ah, 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 ah. So you come down. Please, 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 please. Go all the way down. I don't want that bit. I want you to go all the way down to verse. Give me verse 13. Uh-huh. And what? Hallelujah. Now today I want to speak to people. I want to stop just on that little bit. We'll carry on later on. Look at this woman. Has faithfully served the church. Being faithful when they asked for money for land, she gave. When they asked for money for building, she gave. Every day the prophet passed by. He had something to eat from her house. That woman represents a lot of women. That woman represents a lot of men. Who have been there for the church. But yet for themselves. They have nothing to show. 
They have nothing to show that God has done for them out of their ministry. We have people right now in church. They have emptied bank accounts. They have bank accounts. They have emptied bank accounts. They have sold plots of land. They have given up time. We have people that come here and say God has spoken to me to leave my job to come and serve him. And you wonder how is this person going to survive? I come here to tell you today God sees all those sacrifices. God sees all that commitment. This woman served the prophet faithfully but there was something in her life that lacked for her she was a married woman what I want to talk to you about restoration this very woman I'm talking about she had missed she had missed her opportunity to have children because the Bible says her husband was old there are people that when you're, the things you had to do it, it, it passed you missed the opportunity but because of the grace of restoration even if you lost time even if you lost an opportunity they, told, they tell us this woman she doesn't have a son and the husband is old. The time of, my, of the man we are talking about is a man. But the time of conceiving it passed. You see, you have to understand that the grace that restores time that you lost, whether you lost that time because of your stupidity. Because that woman, a lady, that lady, a lady, thank you, that is spoken to by a man, and she falls in love. And she goes with this man, not realizing the man is already married. She will have lost her time, but it is not her fault. So when she realizes 10 years later that the man who has been here, he built me a house. But the man is not mar- the man is already married. She has lost her time. The man has wasted your time totally. And this woman, she was used to the circumstances. Let me look at after the. Let me do good things. I don't need the husband. I don't need the child. But God knew. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. God knew that there was something missing in her life. Let me tell you something. I have one simple message today. God will restore your time. God will restore your time. The people that spent years investing in businesses, people who spent their time studying things, you put all your time and effort trying to pursue a career. But you're not making it. That time will be restored. You have not lost that time. I said you have not lost that time. You have not lost that time. When this woman comes in front of the prophet, she's not the one that told the prophet that, listen, I don't have a child. 
But the prophet got the message from his servant. Let me show you something very quickly. We are about to finish. People come here every day. Pastor Gerard will tell you. I want to speak to Muzee. Can you make me reach see the man? And you ask him what is the problem? I just want to speak to him. I just want to speak to him. If you cannot speak for yourself, if you cannot speak for yourself, God is going to bring people to speak for you. God will speak to you. And they will tell you, shut up. What is your problem is this? You want a job but you don't want to speak. Let me speak for you and they give you a job. Let me teach. God is going to bring for you people. God is going to bring for you people. God is going to bring for you people. That are near your testimony. That because the words for you to speak are near your testimony. You don't know them. He will make those people. But you mean it out. To stand. Why? Because they are near your testimony. You 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 are near your testimony. And he will tell you. His problem is here. Give him five minutes. He will see that he is a good one. And he will see that he is a good one. And he will see that he is a good one. And he will see that he is a good one. And he will see that he is a good one. And he will see that he is a good one. And he will see that he is a good one. And he will see that he is a good one. And he will see that he is a good one. And he will see that he is a good one. And he will see that he is a good one. And he will see that he is a good one. And he will see that he is a good one. And he will see that he is a good one. And he will see that he is a good one. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let God put for you people. That know where your things are. That the moment you are looking for them. That person will tell you go and knock the door. Give that door. Go and stand. Don't go near that door. Let God bring for you people. 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 But when you are not see that when you go to the Lord, you may not find what you want. But if you are delayed for five minutes, the moment you reach the door, 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 the moment you People to be touched because of you. But me here, I said, let the restoration. The man who brought restoration in this woman's life. Oh, you must sumu the diyo bulamu. I've released that person. Oh, you must sumu the diyo bulamu. I've released that person. Oh, you must sumu the diyo bulamu. I've released that person. Oh, you must sumu the diyo bulamu. I've released him in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Katunda kuwa mukisa. Oh, you must sumu the diyo. I've released that person. That middleman. Let him be there. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jagala tuwe yosagala kufa kumpe onga tetuwa de. Let us give you the house. Kwa abadi wantu genda basa vida mwenna. We are going to pray for you each and every one who is here. Jona jona. Tusumulule. Divine connector. Divine connection. Omutu akwa gadiza. Omutu alabe nsonga yo. Divine connector. Keka ziyandi gambi omukaza abadi atulisa. Abana ye mueba ze weba za. Nabi mueba ze abadi atukona budu unji. Yani yoge debi. Keka zuda say otherwise. But he spoke of the other issue. Yes, sir. Listen, these people will remind you things that you're supposed to have that you don't know. Oh, temu chitegede. Oh, no mukazi yadi echo mwana yachiva ako ge kazi yachogira na mujuki zacho mwana umweta aga. She had given up on that. Katika tonda akuleti le ya bantu. Abage no kutu nuli application yeba gambi. Eh, dunolo lupapula anga toruina. Ndagwe wade to chimani. Tolo lupapula ulweta aga. Oh, oh, oh. Echo chisumu luderi achaga la. Echo chisumu luderi achaga la. Katonda makule te da bantu abo. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Mututele kenamba tuweyo. 
kwate chiwebwa yocho kwate chiwebwa itugenda kuwayo tusi tulesala ya dachika nga 5 oba 10 olumanu ba mwenne mwenna tubatekeke mikono yeah, restoration ain't no kuba omulinya lya yesu that is the number is yeah mtn yo 316485 is our merchant code ne ya eya tyo kitutereko tuweyo mulinya lya yesu 1101806 ya Airtel. Ate mwaba wayo kulwa abana in number 0702245243. Muweyo mulinya lya Yesu mukama abawo mukisa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Katunda kuletira omuntu. May God bring you people. Kwate chiwe bwayo chitulangirira omukisa. Kubanga yemuna jawa no tugena kuwa ayo bubi. Tusimbe nga tugena kubasabira mwenna. We are going to pray for all of you. Mwena mwena All of you Tewali nsonga rwachi bakusetu na liba kujja mutakaliyo There is no reason why they are chasing you out of your life Sigena na kusaba katonda kuwa takadala ngina Musa bakuzeyo wali wenyini nyini Muchichocho ino kubera Muri njali ya Yesu Chitafe muri njali ya Yesu tukwebaza Father in the name of Jesus Muri nsigo yona For every seed That has been brought in your house Everybody that is here I ask you that you bless them Those that are watching online Bring restoration In every area of our lives Let us be restored Health let it be restored In Jesus mighty name Amen Jango weyo Mpaku buses is our land. Twali busing. Tochi dokele one. We need money. Twetta gira dara sente. Is uh, is oku zimba. Usumba jira da imiri de wano. Twali basa. Utwete de oku sente. Mukama ba wamu kisa. Twete de oku sente. Is oku sa suli de taka. Ibanjeri omutu mwa Kristo yaba gambi yaga la tu imiri de wamu. Tuli je wamu mwezi gumu gali gende de dala. I'm going to sow seed just so God can restore me. Sow seed for that. That's the money. Yes. Hallelujah. I encourage you, even those that are watching online. I know the people on the internet are still there. Hallelujah. Kuanga, today we are speaking of this Shunemite woman. There is one only clear thing about her. She had given. 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 I want to encourage you, give. Slowly, 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 before you know it, life has changed. Katono. Katono. Gorabanga katone katonda gamba. Oye, what Jesus is saying? Let me tell you something. Nzenso ukweta si njiru kumi. I can bring one thousand. Oh, what is it? Omla na yeto mutwa rogwa sente. Na yenga nzare soro kumi. And another one who brings ten thousand, but he has brought one thousand. That is all she had. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. How many of you believe that restoration is coming? Is there anything that you say that left that you wanted to come back? Huh? Is there someone? You're sure that something left and you want to what come do you want? back? Is there someone? Huh? Are you here? Stand up on your Rise feet. Rise up on your feet. Oh. We are going to pray. So that if each and every one of us can present our need to God. That very thing that you lost. Just tell him what you If it is the name of your husband, call him. Back. If it is a job and you know that you back. Say, God, take me back to that organization. Hallelujah. Oh. Yes. 
You should be better than that. There are people that you see in Ogamba. Listen, this man could have been better than where he is right now. But it looks like there's no progress. Restoration is coming. Lift up your hands. Start to speak to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at your people. Each and every one of them has something to talk about. They have tears that they've cried. They have sorrow and sadness that has filled them. Some of them lost things that are valuable. Some of them lost precious memories. Some of them lost, lost opportunities that only came once. Some of them are here and are saying, Lord, I saw myself set for destiny. Something happened. I lost everything. I lost my land. I lost my money. I lost friendships. I lost the partner. Some of them even lost people that are even dead. They can't even come back. They didn't just go and leave them. And yet those people were very important in their lives. People are here lifting their hands and saying, Lord, I had a business. It was thriving. Everything was going great. But I missed out. I don't know what happened. Somehow everything disappeared. They are people, Lord, that are saying, I lost my time. I lost my time. I served the devil for so long. I lived in the world for so long. And all the time was lost after loss. Today, I say today, in the name of Jesus, I speak restoration over your life. I speak restoration over your life. Let God arise and let every enemy everything that came against you let it be scattered let it be scattered let it be scattered let it be scattered, let it be scattered. anything that you lost we command it to be restored. We command your health to be restored. We command your finances to be restored. I speak over every womb. I speak over every body part. I speak over your life. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you have a loss. Now I command prophets to appear. Wherever you have a loss, I command prophets to appear. Wherever you lost something so dear to you, in the name of Jesus, I speak against that enemy. I speak against that enemy that attacked you and took you back, that attacked you and held you down. I rebuke him. I rebuke him. I rebuke him. I rebuke him. Mugoba. I rebuke him. Mugoba. I rebuke him. Mugoba. Cast you. Mugoba. I bind you right Mugoba. now. In the name of Jesus. I speak over you right now. Go back to your place of greatness. Every power of darkness. Every demonic spirit. Hey, my God, my God. Somebody start to talk right now. God is restoring people. God is restoring people. Every evil thing. Everything that attacked you. That unplugged you out of your place. That unplugged you out of your destiny. 
destiny that unplugged you out of your place of authority. In the name of Jesus, you have authority right now. Speak against it. 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 I release fire right now against everything that has held you down. I speak fire right now against every path of darkness, every stupid spirit that came against you right now. It came to be as though it was nice, but it came to take you back. Anything that came against your destiny, everybody watching online, you went abroad, your papers were progressing, but somehow something happened and interfered with the plans of God. Right now, I restore you. I restore you. I restore you. I restore you. Restoration is coming. Restoration is coming. In the name of Jesus, you shall have a testimony. You shall have a testimony. Your health is restored. Your health is restored. Your health is restored. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come and join me. We are going to lay hands on you. Just make two lines here. We are going to speak one thing. May the Lord restore you. May the Lord restore everything. Even if they took it unknowingly. Everything that was taken. Even if it was taken I don't care who took it away from you. But today. The Lord is restored. Let the glory come back to you. Let glory come back to you. Let the glory come back to you. Akuze buja, akuze buja katonda. Chona chona chewa firo chikoma o. Chida benga chidi chidu kachikutomere. Chona chona chia again. The restoration comes. Restoration comes to you in the name of Jesus. Chona chona chia again. The katonda chikomi o. Chia again. The everything that you lost, I command it to be restored. Katonda akujuki de. Akomi o. E mintu be nebi nebi again. Let there be restoration. I speak restoration. Now we speak restoration in the name of Jesus. 